Good morning, good morning. Do, 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 do. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, welcome to a daily dose of joy from Atlanta on a chilly morning. And we have a first. La la, le puppy. <laughs> um, he woke up kind of early and I got him out and have settled him back down. And this will be a first if he'll just chill with us while we do a daily dose of joy. Mm -mm -mm. So. <sighs> Oh boy. Oh, somebody asked the other day what kind of yummy tea I'm always drinking. And, um, mm -hmm. it's yummy, yummy, yummy. And I, I like variety. You know, I want to enjoy all the pleasures of my life. So, um, but probably one of my favorites that I most drink is uh, green tea matcha latte. Mm hmm. Yum, yum, yum. With a touch of honey. <laughs> but also sometimes I have Earl Grey or Jasmine, a really wonderful Jasmine green tea or chai tea or rooibos tea, a huge variety. Variety is a spice of life, but this is definitely one of the mainstays. And I also drink coffee and all sorts of things. Nothing's off limits, whatever I want, whatever I fancy. Uh, but I do appreciate it, like just the ritual of a warm cup of something tasty in the morning, especially this time of year, this time of year. Um, we had a little funny. <laughs> I tried to film a little while ago with, I had some instrumental Christmas music playing and I thought, okay, that'll help soothe him. And I wanted to model. There's so many ways to do a slow-mo flow. There's so many ways to do a deeper truth tool. There's, there's just the beauty that we have a routine. We have structure. We have these five microdosing tools that we use throughout our day. We also have variety. Like I always have a cup of something warm in the morning. That's the structure, the ritual, the routine. But there's novelty in that I change what I have. And same with um, our slow-mo flow or any of the microdosing tools. I've created them so that we have the structure that we can repeat, 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 and have that stability and structure for the rest of our lives. And at the same time, we can have novelty and innovation. It's so all that back to the music. Oh, he's on the move. <laughs> it's, I, it's like I manifested it. The music seemed to get him on the move and more like lively. So I thought, okay, we'll go back to just quiet. And um, up, up, up. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, good boy. So we'll do the Christmas music um, another morning. That's one of the things that I use for novelty sometimes for a slow mo flow. I'll put on some very calming, but beautiful, evocative music, and I'll just spend the five minutes of stillness and silence almost in a daydream and uh, letting myself just flow with the music. So that's just an idea for your slow mo flows. Um, over there. Where's that cutie pie? Where is he? Oh, there he is. So, um, let's see. Today, let's do something sort of soothing and quiet. I've got some giggles inside of me, but I know that would be a, a, little, a little out of his training zone for his first morning joining us. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's use the deeper truth tool and uh, we can use it to prepave our day. That's another novel way that I'll use the deeper truth tool. A deeper truth tool is making positive declarative statements. We're engaging our prefrontal cortex. 
we're hearing the nurturing sound of our own voice, the calming, good parent voice in us. Um, our main adult, you know, personality, who we really are. We're strong adults, capable. And letting ourselves hear that voice and make these positive, empowered statements or reaching for them. You know, it can always be, I like the idea of, or I hope to, or may I. So I'll use some of those um, pre preambles to some of my statements today to model that for y'all, because that can be really helpful. Because after we make the statement, the idea is to take a gentle breath and make it somatic, not make it, allow it. Allow yourself to be present to the feeling in your body that that statement evokes. And if you feel resistance and tightening against it, then soften it. Reach just for a little bit, a piece of it. <laughs> so one of the things we can do with that deeper truth tool is use it to um, in Law of Attraction, they call it segment intending or prepaving. Um, in, um, there's a different term for it in the Buddhist tradition. And, and it can often be uh, um, even a type of prayer. It's the idea of letting yourself sort of daydream in to the next part of your day. What would it feel like for it just to be a surprise and a delight to you. What if? What if? And um, just sort of imagining that in your statements and letting yourself feel those sensations. And then often you'll find you've kind of set yourself up for that to happen. At least your brain chemistry. <laughs> and maybe your alignment and I found it to be really helpful. So let's play with that a little this morning in our deeper truth tool. So I'll make a statement. And while I'm pausing and taking my gentle breath and laying that in, you'll make your statement. We'll go back and forth. And you can either make the same statement I made. <laughs> if it sparks some joy for you, or you can use any statement that is more in the flow of what you're imagining doing in your day. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I am going to finish my tea today. with a call this morning. And I'm gonna feel the friendship and ease in that call. Mm. Maybe a whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Keep on keeping on. And um, so let's see. Ah, I am looking. 
looking forward to my puppy surprising and delighting me today. what the unexpected might offer me. Mm. feelings of ease and love and power that a seemingly challenging event might offer me. comforts in the future.
let's take three gentle soothing breaths in solidarity. today surprise and delight us and I look forward to spending time with y'all tomorrow